Good evening and welcome to Rovers TV and the Beaumont Legal Stadium for this Round 6 Kingston Press Championship clash between Sheffield Eagles and Featherstone Rovers. The team lineups today for Sheffield Eagles are 24, Reese Dean, number 2, Gary Lowe, number 3, Menziere, number 22, Liam Johnson, number 5, Ben Blackmore, number 6, Simon Brown, number 7, Dane Chisholm, Number eight, Scott Wielden. Number nine, Patty, Matty Fozard. Number 10, Mark Mexico. Number 11, Matty James. Number 12, Dwayne Streffer. Number 13, Elliot Minchella. And on an interchange bench are 15, Kyle Trout. Number 16, Sam Scott. 17, Jordan Cox. And 19, Will Hope. The coach for Sheffield is Mark Aston. Featherstone Rovers lineup: number one, Ian Hardman; number five, Luke Briscoe; number 22, Jason Walton; number three, Chris Alunya; number 24, Ash Hanley; number seven, Anthony Thackeray; number 19, Matty Wildy; number 10, Andy Bostock; number nine, Keel Carlisle; number 31, Jack Armandroyd; number 12, John Davis. Number 11, Michael Knowles, and number 21, James Lockwood. On the substitute bench for Featherstone Rovers are 14, Frankie Mariano, 13, Richard Moore, 8, Daryl Griffin, and number 6, Kyle Briggs. Head coach, John Sharp. Match official today is Jonathan Roberts. Underway with Simon Brown. It's a high kickoff. Bounces awkwardly for John Davis, so was not able to take it. It bounces into touch. Teams. The ball's a low pass, it's through the hands of Brambaini on the bounce to Menzier. Menzier moves that ball inside to Gary Lowe. But good defence on Rovers, the Eagles pinned five metres out. Here's a drive in for the line then from Matty James. He's held up, the ball swung in field and there's a kick through. It's a good kick and the Eagles are over. Sheffield Eagles are over. It's a dream start for the Sheffield Eagles. Brown under the post here as well. He should successfully convert this to put Sheffield 6-0 ahead in this game. So early points for Sheffield Eagles on the board. Plays the ball to Carlisle. Goes left to Thackeray to Knowles. Out to Alunga. Alunga over on that near side. He will play the ball and here's a scoop from Michael Knowles. That's clever play, alert play. A slow play of the ball, the ball's worked in field. Thackeray now with a pass to pass in field, sorry. To Andy Bostock. Ball's worked out left. Thackeray again. Here's Knowles again. Knowles for a gap. Held up a couple of metres short. It's the last tackle here. So here's Thackeray then on the last. It's a cross field kick. It's a good chase, but it's well taken though by Menzier. The clock's stopped, something's happened here. The referee is just going to speak to his touch judge. With Featherston trying to claim a try there. In fact, now it's a penalty. Tackled in the air, says Mr. Almondroid. On the charge for those sticks. He's also a metre short as well. Ball comes right again. Not the best pass to Wildy. Walton! Jason Walton is over for the try for Featherston Rovers. He took the pass from Matty Wildy, able to dance inside Gary Lowe. And it's now Sheffield Eagles 6, Featherston Rovers 4. Well, that's perfect shifting of the Sheffield defence. That drive from Jack Ormondroy draws all the players in. Then Featherston are able to shift it wide quickly through the hands of Wildy he sends it to Walton beautiful piece of individual brilliance he has to adjust to take the ball but then he shifts his weight again taking his time he comes in now strikes the ball and it's over touch to just put the flags up so that makes the scores all square at six all after 12 minutes here at the Beaumont Legal Stadium oh, I'm going to try this slow to get up is in the Rovers in the Eagles 20. Balls worked out left to Thackeray. To Knowles to Alunya to Ash Hanley. Hanley brings the ball back in field. It's still going. Ash Hanley still going. 
Rovers are the over, is it Bostock? It's Bostock! Andy Bostock! Well done on the whitewash. It was, it was Andy Bostock, the power of the drive from Andy Bostock. He reached out with one arm, it didn't look possible to get that ball down, but it has. And it twins with 23 minutes left in this first half. It's Sheffield Eagles 6, Featherstone Rovers 10. Andy about the wing, he's just got a couple of things to fine tune and for me he can be one of the best wingers in Super League. He certainly has, Michael Knowles added the two there, it was a kick under the post so that puts Featherstone Rovers further ahead, Sheffield Eagles 6, Featherstone Rovers 12. So the ball swung in field then. Here's Dwayne Straffer. Driving for the line. He's over. He's, he's over, in fact, is Dwayne Straffer. Dwayne Straffer there is over the line for Sheffield Eagles. It was a as well in, in that build up to that try. When Sheffield are attacking, um, as that kick goes over there from Simon Brand, so that equals the scores up. It's uh, Sheffield Eagles 12, Featherstone Rovers 12. It's the last tackle. Zachary puts a crossfield kick in again. That's not oh, 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 It's Jason Walton! Superb kick again from Anthony Zachary. The Eagles couldn't take it in. And Jason Walton, able to ball drop straight into his hands, able to put the ball down. Rovers hit the front again with 13 minutes left here in the first half. Sheffield Eagles 12. Felliston Rovers, 16. No worries in the championship. <laughs> Not as good as Jamie's collapse, son. And then Michael Knowles sends that kick between the posts. Feverston then with the lead here at the Beaumont Legal Stadium. Zachary finds Knowles, Knowles to Alunya, Alunya cuts in field, still going, but good defence from the Eagles, we've got just under three minutes left in the first half, Sheffield Eagles 12, Featherston Rovers 22, that ball's come loose so to Richard Moore on the charge, Richard Moore still going, I thought he was going to look for the offload but he did well to hold on there. Balls work left, Knowles to Alunya. Alunya for the line. He's over. Chris Alunya is over for Featherston Rovers. And with two minutes left in the first half. That much ground are there, the Featherston, even though they're doing fast play of the balls. Dane Chisholm now. Dane Chisholm's true, he's showed the ball. It's going out to go out to the into the middle and Sheffield are going to score a try here. That's a good long-range try there from Sheffield Eagles. It was Elliot Minchelli. He was the man supporting Dane Chisholm, and he's the man who's got Sheffield back on the scoreboard to start off this second half. Simon Brown does convert, so... With that line, Keel Carlisle holds the ball up a little bit, gets it out to Wildy. Wildy looked to make a little half-break there, but wasn't successful, and there's a penalty to Featherstone Rovers. The big shout comes for two... Rovers fans and the tee two. is coming on, so they are going to take the two here. Question for John, isn't Kyle Briggs close to a milestone as well? As he does convert that try, that penalty goal stretches the lead out to 10 points. So yeah, I'm not sure it was the, the best option to offload. And ball oh, comes out now to Thackeray. Oh, Thackeray! Oh, he goes, he goes over! Actually, Thackeray has scored for both the Rovers. It not at all a great run from Thackeray took the ball a first receiver from the scrum coming left field and Anthony Thackeray saw a gap went straight through it able to go through the gap easily enough get that ball down and Featherston Rovers as they did in the first half have responded to that Eagles score and with Sheffield had scored the next try and got back to within um, six or even eight points, then it could have been a different game altogether, couldn't it, Joe? 
it's not just how it looks on the scoreboard, Ben. It's a psychological matter. And Kyle Briggs there. He sends the ball between those up like just extending that Featherstone lead further. And like we say, it, it's not just about how that lead looks on the scoreboard. It's about Sheffield feeling like they've got a mountain to climb. And if they're within touching difference, all of a sudden... They're Graham, but Thackeray picks it up well. Five metres short of that Sheffield line. A little bit of... Uh, and there's a penalty there. As the Sheffield play, I think it was Sam Scott. And Sheffield are on a team warning now. Sam Scott put his uh, foot in on Anthony Thackeray on the floor there and... Uh, have received this season so far in the five games that Sheffield have played before this match in four of those five games they've had a player in the sin bin so a bit of a shows a lack of discipline in the team and there's something not right there somewhere they look under pressure every time an opposition team is deep into their territory and that can lead to desperation. Desperation leads to penalties and ultimately can lead to sin binnings. And Kyle Briggs, uh, sorry, it wasn't Kyle Briggs, it was Ian Hartman, wasn't it, who added those two there. So uh, Featherston Rovers further increasing that lead. Sheffield Eagles 18, Featherston Rovers 36 as the ball with Frankie Mariano. Mariano going round the Sheffield defence and he makes it up to the halfway line. Sheffield all over Featherston. They have to be careful, they're on that team warning. That could so easily have been a penalty, could it, that? It could, and I think perhaps because they're on a team warning, that's why the referee might have added a little bit of leniency to Sheffield there. But Featherston up to 30 metres away from the line. They're loading it up on this left-hand side. Thackeray gets it to Alunya. Alunya, though, is wrapped up. 18 metres short from the line, it comes across to the right to... Thackeray, Thackeray puts a kick across and it's missed by Johnson and Thackeray scores! Featherstone Rovers score to further extend that lead. Great kick there by Anthony Thackeray, wasn't it? Absolutely beautiful try from Featherstone Rovers. Anthony Thackeray win from Will Hope. Is in the Rovers 10. That ball's worked out through the left through Chisholm. Chisholm puts an early kick in. It's well taken by Gary Lowe, who is over in the corner. An early kick catching Featherstone Rovers unaware. It up just short of the 30 metre line, and Darrell Griffin taking the ball forward 22 metres short of the Sheffield line. Comes over to the left with Thackeray. Thackeray to Lockwood. That's the last tackle. Featherston bringing it out to the right with Thackeray again, and he goes for the drop. And he gets it, so that's sensible play there by Anthony Thackeray. He's, he's played, it comes out to Thackeray. Thackeray out to Wildy, to Davis. Davis gets it to Hardman, who's on the run around. It goes out to Walton, goes out to that right hand side, and there's a try there for Lou Briscoe over on that right hand side by Featherston Rovers. I do believe it was Luke Briscoe out there. Luke Briscoe, unbelievable try in the corner. He had no right to score that try, Joanne, but somehow he finds a way. The ball One for him out on that right hand touch line. And he's got it! Oh, what a great kick from Ian Hartman there from the touch line. Fantastic attempt from our third choice goal kicker. I've got a few. Have you got a few, Joe? That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the final hooter here at the Beaumont Legal Stadium. It's Sheffield Eagles 22, Featherstone Rovers 47. A very convincing victory for Featherstone Rovers to bounce back from that defeat at home to Rochdale last week. It's the performance that John Sharp, I'm sure, would have been looking far from his charges this afternoon and he's certainly got it. And the results from the Kingston Press Championship Round 6. On Saturday, Toulouse 36, Swinton 28. Bradford 44, Batley 22. Dewsbury 6, Hull KR 48. Halifax 19, London 6. Rochdale 26, Oldham 26. 
and Sheffield 22, Featherstone Rovers 47. That leaves Hull KR still at the top of the Kingston Press Championship with Featherstone Rovers in second place on 10 points.